Good night, guys. It's been a pleasure to have you back for the third week of this model. How you doing? Pretty good? Energy yes, or not energy no, at all? <laughs> not energy at all? Hey, William, what's up, boy? Jesse and Madeline. Good. Hey. Good I love Jesse. your summertime background. You cannot imagine. I love it to my heart. Hey, how was your weekend, guys? Was it good? It was really busy. Really? Why, Jesse? Because I did some business. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And yesterday I went to Esquipulas. Esquipulas? Yeah. You may, it's, it's part of Guatemala, right? Yeah, in Guatemala. Yeah. And well, you went for a vacation or what? No, no, no. Because uh, I... I promise to go if uh, for some prayer. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you went there to accomplish your, your promise? Yeah. yeah. Ah, That's okay, right. alone or with your family? Excuse me? You went alone or with your family? Just with my son. With your son. Hey, how old is yeah. your son, by the way? He is four years. Oh my God, it's such a baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> four years old. Wow. Yeah. You have only one son? Yeah. And you know. Because I'm a widow. Oh, I'm sorry for that. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. My mama used to be a widow as well. Really? Yep. Uh, my father passed away when I was nine years old. Oh, so, my mom, yeah. my mom, gone. Stay. In 2020. 2020? Yeah. Yeah. From two years ago. Two years ago. Wow. Yeah. 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 So I understand but, what it is. Yeah. Uh, but it's not, it, it wasn't for COVID. No. It was for uh, something else. She has, she had a cancer. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. 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 So you are, yeah. uh, you don't have your mama, you don't have your husband. It's hard. He's hard. I know. Yeah, it's really hard. But you're a strong but, woman. Yeah. Yeah, because in March 20, uh -huh. uh, my mom's gone. Uh -huh. But in December 22, okay. uh, my brother, my brother's gone too. In December 22 of last year? Yeah. 2020. 2020. Oh, 2020. Oh my gosh. So yeah. In the same year. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And January. 21 your husband oh my god yeah it has mm -hmm. been not easy for you but of course god gave you that the, the strength to move forward right i try <laughs> yes i know it's not easy but you're doing good yeah. and you will Thanks. you will i promise Thanks. you will yeah i haven't i have seen it in my mother so you will okay. definitely <laughs> and i'm so happy that you are here yeah i try to be happy for me, it's for my my health. Yes. And for your yeah, baby. Yeah. For my baby. Yeah. Yeah. For my baby. Oh. Yeah. You know what? He is my reason for living. Yeah. Of course, to move forward, you have a really good reason. Yeah. <laughs> and you That's know right. what? Talking about that, uh, 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 have you seen Alexander? No. William. William was eating. Right now, and I was like, <gasps> no kidding. He just I left right now because I think he was looking for a napkin. <laughs> yeah, you know, guys, I don't know where you live, but it has been really hot today, right? It's really hot. It's, oof. I you live can... in San Juan Pico. Oh my God, where yeah. it's really hot. It is really, really hot, hot every day, but now it's hotter. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> You were swearing like a pig, right? Oh my God. <laughs> That's why Alexander is like uh, having some snack today, right? Like watermelon, right, sir? Yes. Ooh. Is, is it hot where you live right now? Yeah, really, really hot. And where do you live, Alex? I'm sorry to ask you that. Um, Near to La Cima. Near to La Cima? But Cima it's one, two, three, bad. or four? <laughs> <laughs> now on, on the way near on the way but not in the cima 
Ah, uh, near the Cuscatron Stadium, I don't know. Yeah, near, yeah, near the stadium. Ah, okay, mm -hmm. yes. It's a little bit hot, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because where I live is like, you like go oh, almost to the mountains, right? <laughs> Yeah, but even though it is still hot, that's why you're yeah. eating like watermelon right now, right? Uh huh. Lucky you, because I cannot, I cannot re eat watermelon, because if not, I have my sinus problems and my my nose and my head. It's a little bit hard, I get hard and headache, so I I cannot uh, eat watermelon, and it's oh. really refreshing, and I love yeah. that. Well, yeah. well, enjoy your watermelon. <laughs> yeah you know what I, don't worry don't worry that's okay for me okay um, thank you. you're welcome i have erwin here and glenda freddy's also alberto kathy hey francisco kenya madeline joshi alexander and andres oh my god how were you how was your weekend guys did you do anything special last weekend besides jesse that jesse went to a basketballist Mm -hmm. Nobody did anything special? Dory is in that dress, yeah. I don't know. No, teacher. Nothing, Francisco? No, nothing. <gasps> it's a normal. It, it was a normal day? Yes, because the Saturday I I need to work. Uh-huh. Uh, some days. Uh, oh, it's the only this day I have to to enjoy with my Camel? with my family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. is is to is 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 not enough. Of course, it's not enough. It's not you enough. need vacation. Ah yes, maybe I need two or three months. Two or three months. Yes. Lucky si you. Mucho pedir. If if it's not much to ask. <laughs> yes. You know what? I have spent like more than five years without vacation. So I know how it is. Yeah. Finally, until this year, I will have my vacation in a couple of months and weeks. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's not because you know what? It's because um the type of job that I do have. Um, um I just work for a state's um, enterprise. So basically I do not have a Salvador's holidays and I do not have um, US holidays. I don't. So I'm like, uh, yes. So you're uh, on April, you will have vacation, right? I think the second week of April, but I won't. Yeah, sometimes it's very hard. Okay? It is, yes, it is hard. Depends for the company that you work for. So never mind. And you know what? Fernando's joined to this class and look, he has a haircut. And I think his master's right and her bird. Look at him. Isn't he a little younger, by the way? What do you think, guys? Where is Fernando? Fernando. Hi. Hi. You look totally <laughs> different, sir. Where is it, our brother? Yeah, uh, where is your twin? I cut my hair the last Saturday. Yeah, I have noticed that. And, and also the monsters, right? The bird, right? Ah, uh, yes, yes. But you look Donga. <laughs> yeah. Don't you feel like a little strange or weird without it? No. <laughs> no, I'm just asking. No. No. Uh, Always, I I like to to cut my hair in that in this way. Maybe yeah, but, mm -hmm. every every two months. Uh, ah. That is because you you saw my hair uh, more or less uh, large. Uh huh. I I don't like the, the the long hair. You don't like long hair? No. No, like William. What? Uh, who is William? Alexander. Ah, William. Yes, uh -huh. no, 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 I, I don't like, you don't I don't like, like, like this, yes, no. No, of course he's younger than us, right? So we understand that, <laughs> <laughs> the different styles. Yeah, but you know what? You look, you look younger, you look, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And did your wife say something? Like, you look handsome. 
mm, uh, she doesn't like uh, the good hair sometimes, but uh, she, she she is, uh, how do you say, acostumbrada? He's used to it. Just, just to, uh, just to see me in that way. So. Really? Yeah. So she prefers the other friend, Fernando. Uh, she, she likes uh, the hair like uh, maybe no, uh, no all the hair cut, but mm -hmm. in some parts cut, in some parts uh, a little longer. Large, longer, yes. Like William, for example. See, maybe. Uh -huh. but... Sorry to put you an example, sir. <laughs> but that's nice, but you look different. Very good. And I think it's more fresh, right? Yes. Hey, he, he, he's in a different house, guys. He has recently moved. Yes. And is it good? Is it, is it better where you live right now? Is it a little bit fresh? Yes, it's better. And it's better because the, this house is mine. Oh, that's nice. Of course it's better. Yes. Definitely. You don't pay the rent, right? So you save that money. I am paying rent, but in this in a different way. But ah, of course, uh, because it's going to be yours. Yes. Ah. So that's different. Yes, it's different because it's, it's my I don't I am the I don't pay in the the, I don't pay the, the house for, of another so, person. For somebody else, of course, yes. of course. I remember that. I remember that. Yes, I know. Yeah. Paying something that is going to be yours or finally uh, have a house that is completely yours. Oof. Yes, I understand that perfectly. I remember those days. In my case, I already finished paying that. <laughs> so it's already mine. <laughs> That's good, right? You feel like, oof, less stress. So Fernando, guys, he spent his uh, weekend on moving from one place to another, right? From Friday at night. Uh-huh. Until what? Until Sunday? Uh, yes, even I had to, to go to my to the old house because we we had to clean that. Oh, of course. You had to and clean. After, yes, and my wife... Uh, 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 was working all day cleaning there Ooh. and moving all the things. And... I can imagine that. Yes. And you know what? Uh, I remember the, to the type of job that my my father used to have. I only spent in, in a house like no longer than two years. So we move like so frequently that you cannot imagine. I even lived in Costa Rica. No, I lived in Costa Rica, Guatemala, sorry. Guatemala and in Panama. So no way. That was really stressful. Oh, my God. And you know what? The worst part is that I couldn't have a, like, like a childhood uh, friends, if I can say that, neighborhood friends, because I only spent only two, two years in a neighborhood. So it was really hard. But now, yes. since I got married, yes. <laughs> Yes, I know that feeling because uh, before moving here, uh, uh, maybe I moved uh, around uh, five or six times to mm -hmm. different places. Uh, in El Salvador, of course, but <laughs> just uh, five or six times. And maybe uh, I hope that this is the, is the last. Yeah, thanks God. You know what, it, for example, the one of the late the last yeah the last country that supposedly my father was supposed to move but we didn't move was um honduras i think that was the closest one that we have uh san pedro sula right i remember that so imagine if i if i moved if i moved to san pedro sula i wouldn't have met my husband why because I will be living in Honduras and he's Salvadorian. Ah, okay. Uh, so, <laughs> like what? Yeah, exactly. You, you see, third person conditional, third conditional yes, isn't yes, it right yes. now, really? Yeah, I wouldn't have met him. So that's, and, and you know what? That was the closest one because my father used to uh, requested us to go back to Holland. 
But my mama said, no. Nah. Ecuador as well was the other alternative and my mother said, no. Nah. So I will stay here and thanks God because if not, I wouldn't have met my husband. <laughs> no, no, no. Maybe another guy, right? But no. Nah. I prefer <laughs> this, this lovely Salvadorian guy. Yeah, yeah, that's the reason why. Hey, and talking about third person conditional, you know what? That's what we saw last last time, right? Remember on Friday? Of course, Fernando was not here, but hopefully he's a really good and nice student and he has double checked the Friday's video. Hopefully, if not, he still have time to do that. Okay, so without further yeah. and just making feel bad, I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, no, Sorry, no. I, I didn't have time. So I knew sorry. it. Of course, I understand. When you move, it's a totally long history. Yeah, and I think still your wife is doing some stuff there, right? Yes, yeah. she is tired, yeah. but she I know. is working. Exactly, uh, working, right accommodate all the things. Uh, yes. First, the bed of the kids, right? And oh my God, I, I remember. Uh, I remember that depends of. If the house that you lived in was bigger than the one that you have right now or vice versa, there are some things that you need to get rid of, right? But at the same time, it's still like one more for two months and you're still unpacking things to put everything together. It's not easy. It's not easy. Even though you are just two or just or three with a baby or two with a cat and a boy and a dog, it's still, it's hard. It's hard. I remember yes. that. So it will be like, I think the whole April you will still uh, do an accommodation. You'll see. Uh, in my case, I, I have a, a free room and in that room, all the things are in that room. I and... know, I know. They're like a storage <laughs> right now. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. But you you will see. You will, it will take like one month and a half <laughs> to put everything yeah. together. Yeah. Yes, I right. know that is a process. I it's have... a process. Yeah, definitely. Hey guys, besides Fernando, have uh, have some of you moved to a different house, one apartment? I don't know. Maybe Madeline, Kathy, Erwin, Talmita. Have you moved? No, in your life, of course. When you were a teenager, you just live in a different place. Now in in another place, I don't know. When well, I was a uh, child, Luis. When I was yeah. a child, remember she's like and she's really old. My goodness. When I was you're still a baby girl. When I was a child, when I was younger. Okay. okay. <laughs> because you're still a baby. How old are you, Madeline? 25. Oh my god, she's a lovely baby. So when you were younger, yeah. When you were younger, you used to live in a different place. Yeah, All right. right. <laughs> I know. And how long uh, have you been living there? Or have you lived there? Uh, for five years. Five years? That was yeah. quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And then now where you live right now? Yeah. And how long mm -hmm. have you been living there? Uh, 20 years. <laughs> 20 years. Wow. Okay. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. oh, so, she, so she was five when she moved. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. Thank you. What about tell me? Thank you, Madeline. What about you? Tell me that you're about to share your experience with us. Oh yes. Uh, really, I I was born in Costa Rica. Yeah. And my oh my yes, when I when I was child. Uh, but um, when um, twelve years ago. Uh huh. Uh, back to Salvador. Uh -huh. We back to Salvador with my father, my, with my parents, and my mm, my my sister, uh -huh. and um, and I was living in Metapan for Metapan. two for for twelve years. Wow. Yes, okay. and then. When, when you, uh, when, when I um, studying in the university, uh -huh. back to, uh, back to Santa Ana uh -huh. for two years. And next, when I, I was married, 
Mm -hmm. I live in El Salvador for um, 20 years. Wow. Yes. That's a whole journey, Dalmita. Oof. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you are Costa Rican. I, I knew, yes. Yes, my father he, he was. Oh, uh, your father was from Costa Rica? Yes. And your yes, mother was Salvadorian? Salvadorian. Yes. Ah, not, so you had the two citizens. <laughs> yeah. ah, like my niece. Oh, that's good. Yes, yes. I I would like to return to. Yes. Um, I was born in. Um, that's what I was about to ask you where you were born. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember. I, of course. Um, Curida back. San Jose. No, 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 no. San No, no. It's um, uh, is uh, a town, a little town near to Costa Rica, and ah. I, I but it's for the Atlantic yeah. side or for the Pacific side? I don't remember what is the part I mean. Uh, is Atlantic uh, side? No, 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 no. Is is in the like a ruler, ru ruler, ruler, ruler song. Uh, Heredia, Alajuela. Yes, yes. Heredia, yes. Heredia. Yes, yes. Hey, it's in Heredia. Yay. Yeah, I love that place. <laughs> yes, it's a, Lindy, it's a town really beautiful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it is beautiful. I like it. Yeah, you see, Glendy, Glendy. I think Glendy knows Costa Rica, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, also, Josuecito. Oh, that's nice. In Punta Arenas, uh, Cartago. Yeah. Uh, Punta Arenas. Limon, yeah. Limon, yeah. Limon is really hot. Sí. Yes. Quepos. Manuel Antonio. <laughs> Manuel Antonio. I love Manuel Antonio. For sure. Pura vida. <laughs> Pura vida. <laughs> I, well, baby guys, if one day I'm 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 there and I'm giving classes or and we are together, or if my what my brother in law, yes, my brother in law has stayed for a longer, I will uh, introduce him to you. He's Costa Rican as well. His name is David. Yeah. Yeah, I will have show you my family, my Costa Rican family. <laughs> and I'm happy because my sister is pregnant. Hey, I will have a second, I don't know, I will have a second niece or nephew, I don't have any idea. So it was a sad moment because my mother passed away, but at the same time, a happy moment because my sister will have another baby. Yeah, so I'm going to be an auntie for the second time. Yeah. I'm so happy. So I think I will need to travel to Costa Rica. For around, I think October of this year. So maybe I will teach you from there. <laughs> that would be a possibility because I think I will need to go and help my sister about that. Yeah, I will show you a picture of my sister and the family later on. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's nice to hear that we have a Costa Rican student here. And also somebody else who have lived in Costa Rica or visit Costa Rica just for fun or for busy or for, or for business purposes. Okay. All righty. So do you remember the, the uh the sentence that I that I mentioned? If I have moved, or if I moved to Honduras, I wouldn't have met my husband. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh that is a third conditional. Do you remember what is the formula about that? No. Eh, don't worry. We're going to do a recap today. But guys, hey, do you remember all of the verbs? No. Uh-huh. Let's do some recap, okay? To double check if you remember some verbs, regular and irregular. I just have chosen like, I think five or five, something like that. But it's like a randomly. So I just wanted to double check how good you are in this. I know you are terrible good agents or oh, students. Let's see what we have here. All right, you see? You see my screen? Yeah. Guys, tell me something. Study, work, play, stay, and watch. Are they regular or irregular ones? Regular. It's regular. regular. Yes, exactly. That's why they are on the left side, right? 
What about be, break, build, go, and live? Are they regular or irregular ones? Irregular. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. So. <laughs> okay. I just want you guys to help me uh, identify the path of them. What is the path of study? A study. Study. How you spell it? S as in Sam, T as in Thomas, U as in Umbrella, D as in Delta, I as in India, E as in Delta, uh, sorry, E as in Elephant, D as in Delta. E as in Echo and D as in Delta. <laughs> Very good job. Thank you, Joshi. What about work? What's the puzzle work? Work. Very good, Talmita. How do you spell it? W-O-R-K. W-O-R-K -W and then we're missing the E-D at the end. Mm -hmm. Echo Delta, right? Worked. Excuse me. W-O-R-K-E-D. Very good. Excellent job, girl. All right. Madeline, what about what's um was the last, was the past in a played? Played. Very good. How you spell it? B L A Y E D. Very good, very good. Josuecito of my heart. Josuecito, what is how you spell what is the past tense of stay? Um, I guess it's stay. Very good. How you spell it? S T A J E D. J or Y? Oh yeah, it's Y. Sorry. <laughs> Y E D. <laughs> All right, very good job. Good job. Kenya, what about the, the pass of watch? Watch. Very good. How you spell it? Um W A T C H E D. Very good. Excellent job. So you see that's easy, right? Okay, but I want you to pronounce this one. Study. 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 Hey. Stay. Very good. Hey, so now we have in the right side some of our regular verbs. Right? I remember that I sent it to you a couple of lists. Okay, what's the pass of B? What's the word? What's word? And the past participle? Being. 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 Very good. Being. Mm -hmm. what, what's the pass of break? Broke. 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 And Broke. the past participle? Broken. 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 Uh -huh. Now, this is really tricky because I put you this bird. Built. Let me ask you, this verb is in past or is in present? Past. What? Both. It's in past. past it's in past. It's a past, exactly. What is the present of built? Built. Build with a D, right? Yeah, B U I L D. Exactly, that's the present. And the past is built, was the one that I have here. And what is the past participle of build? The same. The same, built, built, built. built. Very good. Yeah. There you go. All right, go. What's the past of go? When. Go. And the past participle? Yeah. Gone. 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 What about leave? What's the past and past part of Left. Leave left. 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 Very good. Excellent. All right. You see, that is easy. Oh my God. You're so good. You're so good. Excellent job. All righty. Okay. So let's do some more. Uh, um, we're going to play something. The Scrabble, but in a verb tense okay in the verb way so that's what we're going to do remember that we used to say like a word and the next guy is supposed to say another word but with the with the letter that the previously word ends remember that okay so we're going to work with verbs okay let me start with you um understand understood understood right so that means that ends with D. So, William, can I have another verb that starts with D? 
Doesn't matter if it's regular or irregular. It starts mm. with D. D is it? Uh-huh, that's the past of what? Do. Uh-huh, and what's the past part is both of do? Done. Done, very good. Okay, so you pick another classmate. Another classmate has to pronounce a verb that starts with E, as in echo. Okay. Pick somebody um, else. Josue. Ay, my goodness, I knew it. Okay, Josecito, a bird that starts with E. Ooh. You had time. A bird that starts with E. <laughs> A verb. A verb that starts with E. You can Google it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, I see you. I, hey, guys, I sent you a list. So you can double check there if you want. Yeah, we have that yeah. list. Uh-huh. You, you must have that list ready for you. Search in the list that I sent it to you. It's a PDF, by the way. Uh -huh. It starts with it. Josuecito, <laughs> what am I doing? Eating. Yeah, eating. Eating. Come on, but that's the action. But I need the verb in present. Eat. Uh, eating. Eat. Uh -huh. Eat in present. What about impressed? Yeah. Um, eight. Uh-huh, and the past possible? It in. It in, very good. So that means that the word the verb ends with N. Can you pick somebody else? Um, Kenya? Kenya, hi, I knew it. Okay, Kenya, a verb that starts with N as in November. That's a good one. Yeah, it's difficult. It is difficult because it's not yeah. on my list. Um, I don't know. <laughs> hey, help her, guys. There's one in your list. It's not in my maybe. list. Uh, maybe narrate, narrar. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah, it could be, it's not on my list and it's not a, a regular verb, but yes, good, that's good. Not right. <laughs> okay, thank you, Fernanda. You are my bestie. <laughs> very good, you're my BFF forever and never. Alrighty, very good. So Kenya, pick somebody else and a verb that starts with D, as in David. Erwin. 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 Oh, Erwin. Okay, cool. Erwin. <laughs> okay, Mr. Erwin, a bird that starts with D. Drive, drive, driven. A drink? Drive, drive. A drive. Drive, drive, drive driven. driven. Very yeah. good. Excellent. With D. With D. Uh huh. With D. Yeah. Now, uh, a bird that starts with N again. <laughs> Pick somebody else, Erwin, to help you. Okay. Uh, number six. Number six. I don't know who's number six here. Six. Josue. Josue. No, Josue. 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 Josue already participates. Pick okay. another the one. Next. Katia. Katia. Yay, Katia. I knew it. I knew you it. You knew it, right? Yeah. He loves Negotiate. it too much. Negotiated. Yeah. Very good. Negotiated. So that is a word that ends in D. <laughs> okay, pick somebody else. Katia. Glenda. Glenda. Okay, Glendy. A bird that starts with D as in David. With letter D. Mm -hmm. D for David, yes. Um, <laughs> um, do? No, they already say that. Uh -uh. Use another one. Um, they already say drive, so no. Dream. What? Dream. 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 And dream. Okay, very good. All right, it's a dream 
dreamed, dreamed, or oh, dreaming. Dream. Okay, very dream. good. So a bird that starts or that ends in T, in T as in tomato. Mm, pick somebody else. Um, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Uh, number uh, 15? I don't know who's number 15. Um, well. Um, Thelma? Thelma. Okay, Thelmita, yes. go ahead, girl. A bird that starts with T as in tomato. Try. Tried. Uh, in the yeah. past, in the past participle? Uh, tried it and uh, tried it. You said try, try, tried. Try, it. yeah. Okay, very good, excellent. So it ends in D. Oh my God, you love D ones. Pick another one. Pick somebody else. And we have Madeline, we have Joshi, William, Fernando, I don't know. No. No, she said, okay, who's, who's she's going to pick? I'm going to pick Fernando. Oh. Can I have a verb with a, start with S, as in Sierra? With S. Mm -hmm. S. Mm, stay. Stay. And the past and the past participle? State and state. Very good. Okay. Uh, uh, um, Joshi, can I have a bird that starts with W? Mm, wake. Uh huh. Wake? What? Wake up. Well. Uh huh. No, sorry. What's the past participle, participle of wake walk? Wake walk. I guess it's the same. Uh, no. Walking. Walking. I guess it's the same. Yeah, walking. Walking. Walk very walking. good. Ah, wake walking. walking. Exactly. Very good. Thank okay. You. Can I have a verb that is stars? Let me double check. Ah, this is not. Let's going to put this easy. Um, with H, Glenda. With, with H. H. H is in hotel, yes. <laughs> with H. <laughs> I, we have a lot of them. Uh, uh, here? Here, uh huh. Here and here. Very good, excellent. <laughs> uh, what about a bird, Francisco, that starts with K as in kilo? Francisco. Yes, with uh -huh. K. Oh my God! With K, yes, as in kilometer. Uh huh. Um, you know. Um, ay, ay, ay. I gave Please? you the answer already. Maybe kisses? No. Ah, Some best. Ah, what you're thinking about? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh you already God. know that. I don't know, teacher. Of with course key, you know. You already key. mentioned the verb. Yes, but others. Uh, I do not remember what others verb with. With K. You say no, K. right? No. The verb no? Ah, yes. It starts with no. K. No. Okay. This is true. So what's the pass of no? No. Uh, no. What's the past of no? no? New. 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 Uh -huh. And the past participle? No. 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 Very good. Uh -huh. You see, Francisco, I think you're in love. That's the reason. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just dizzy. Uh, no, no, no. Very good. Excellent. But good job. Andres, now I need your help. Um, mm. I need a bird that starts with M as a mother. Um, meet. Mm -hmm. Met. Uh, met. Very good. Freddy's, I need a uh, bird that starts with R as in Romeo. Freddy. Me? Yes, of course you. I have, I have only one Freddy's here. For real? Yes, for real. <laughs> okay, an R. Yes. Run. Mm -hmm. Run, ran, 
Well. Yeah, very good. Excellent. Good job. Doris, I need a verb that starts with P as in Papa. P. E. Yes. Okay. P. 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 Este put. Put. Uh -huh. Put. Put. Very good. Excellent. Very good job. Who's missing here? Alexander, right? No, Jessica is missing. Jessie is missing. Jessie, but I think Jessie is like double checking right now with her kid. Uh, it's going to William. William. Yes, William. I need your help, William. I need um, a verb that starts with um, R as in Romeo. With R. Only one. Read. Uh huh. Read. 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 Uh, read. Uh huh. Read is the present. Read. What is the past and the past participle of read? Red, I guess. Yeah, red, red. Very ah, good. Red, red. Uh -huh. yeah. Even though all of them we you write in the same way, but the pronunciation mm -hmm. is different. All right, very good. Good job. Huh, I catch you, right? We still we still lean to like double checking the verb list. Okay, there's a lot of them, but good job. Good job, guys. You have a uh, like basically pass this mm -hmm. i will continue in the other classes i will continue asking for more okay there you go okay we're going to recap what we have seen to friday i want you to have more exercises about that hey there you go this is what i have done basically um like a recap for the formula for the third uh conditional remember we got the if part we could have it if past the past perfect yeah, if I moved, or if I moved, coma, and then you got would have, could have, might have, etc. I have an example here. If we had trained more, we wouldn't have lost. If I had studied, I could have passed the test. If you had asked, she might have helped you. Yeah? Okay. So, Let's do some. Let me, let me, you want, I want you to help me, guys. I have here a possible situation. It could be the situation, it could be the if part. And I have here at the top of the page where you can see the basically the missing part of that idea. So I want you guys to help me to complete it, basically. This is like easy peasy queasy. This is a really easy peasy queasy recap. This is one part and this is the other part. So let's read the first one. If somebody had played the guitar, which will be the possible answer for this? Or the, the possible one. part? Which one? The third one, the one that says we would have sung a song if uh -huh. someone had played a guitar. Played Very guitar. good. Excellent job. So we got this one already. Very good. Thank you so much. What about the second one? She will have to come back early. Uh huh. If Anna had no doubt. Yeah, if Anna of Anne had no doubt. Uh huh. Complete the sentence, please. Isn't that the second one? The second um, one. Yeah. Have got... Would have yes. She would have come back early. She would have come back early. So you said if you had had son, we would have got lost. If you had asked me, which one fix better? If Anne had um, know that, if you, uh, um, she would have come back early. Very good. Excellent. What about the third one? They would have bought something. If the truck had been open. Uh -huh. If the shops had been open, they will have bought something. Very good job. Excellent. What about this one? Would you have called him Sam? If you had a son. If you had a son, uh huh. 
Will you have called him some? Very good, excellent, good job. If we hadn't had a map. We would have got lost. Aha, uh -huh, we have got lost. Very good. So we already have that, we already have that, we already have that and that. What's the last one? If I would have told you the one. truth. The most difficult one. Ah, yes, the most <laughs> difficult, right? If you ask me. Very good. Okay, I help you right now. So now I want you to do me a favor. I want you to come up with one idea. And I'm going to pick somebody else who's going to complete the idea. For example, um, uh -huh. let's see if I had him. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, that, that one already mentioned, so you know that. If I have if I had a move to El Salvador, complete the idea, please, William. <laughs> if I have a move to El Salvador, uh, move to El Salvador, you would. You would or you wouldn't. Um, you wouldn't. You, you wouldn't have your husband. I've known your husband. Very <laughs> good. Excellent. You see. Now do me a favor. Think about an if, and then we're going to pick somebody else who completes your idea. Okay. Think about one right now. Remember, mm -hmm. if plus the past particle. If I had. The... Okay. If I have been to to the supermarket. If I haven't been to the supermarket, uh huh. Hey, Kenya, complete his sentence, please. <laughs> Kenya, yes. I think your microphone is off. Hi. Technical <laughs> issues. <laughs> Uh -huh, yes. Uh -huh. uh, what was the, the, the question? What was the sentence? Can you repeat it, William? If I have been to the supermarket. If I had been or if I hadn't been? I don't know. In positive. Okay, if I have been to the supermarket. I, I would have bought some vegetables. Okay, I would have bought some vegetables. Very good. Now, can you think about one sentence, please? If I hadn't uh, studied. If I had studied. Uh-huh. And uh, Fernando? Mm, uh, I, I would I would have a good uh, qualification in my exam. If I have a study. Yes. Okay, that's good. Now it's your turn. You can say great, great. I would have a good grade, a score. Mm, if I, I have bought a house. If I have bought a, if I have bought, or if you hadn't bought. bought. If I, you I have, if you have bought a house, okay. Uh, continue, Andresito. I I couldn't have paid for rent. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Now you. If I have checked my car. If you have checked your car. <laughs> Oops. Continue, Josuecito. Uh -huh. I... You will have uh, pay your bills. Your bills? Please check your account or- No, a car, a car, car. Ah, you can't, you will um, have to uh, travel to any places with your car. With your girl? Car, car. Ah, with your, your girl. Car. Ah. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. We can try that. What about you, Josecito? Think about one. Uh, 
if I have uh, worked uh, uh, on the weekend. On weekend, okay. Uh, continue, Yoshi. Mm, can you repeat the, the sentence? sentence, please? Sorry. Can you repeat the sentence, Josecito? Mm -hmm. You have your microphone off. Like, oops. Like, can you? Oops. Is if I have worked on weekends. If I have worked on weekends. I couldn't spend time. Spend time with what? Or with who? With my family. With your family. Very good. Okay, with excellent. My family. Okay, now you come up with an idea, Yoshi. If I have studied English before. Uh huh. Continue with the idea, Freddy's. Freddy's, 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 Freddy's. Freddy's. I'm busy. Can you repeat it? Okay, I, I can't. You repair it. Okay, Yoshi. Can you repeat it, please? If I have, okay. If I have studied English before. Okay. If you had studied English before, you would be in a better job. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Right. Now you, Freddie, can, I have, can you have an idea, please? Yeah. If there wasn't a lot of crime in El Salvador, uh huh. Continue with the idea, Glendy. <laughs> I knew that would be like a really interesting sentence. Uh huh. <laughs> can you repeat it, please? Uh, can you repeat it, please, Freddy's? It wasn't a lot of crime in El Salvador. I don't hear you. Uh, she doesn't hear you very well. Can you speak a little bit louder, please? Uh? There was. Um, a lot of crime in El Salvador. A lot of crime. Okay. Uh, El Salvador will be uh, <laughs> uh, the best country. In the world. In the world, yeah. <laughs> Very good, okay. So now you come up with an idea, Glendy. Um, if, 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 if. if <laughs> I don't know. If, 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 uh -huh. Yeah, you know that. If I I work work very hard. If I have worked very hard, uh huh. Francisco. If I have worked very hard. If I work very hard, I have a. I would have too much. I have too much dinner. You you would have too much what? Money. Money? Yeah. yeah. Very good. Excellent. So now you come up with an idea. If you. Uh, or if I. Yeah. yeah. Now, now you have an idea. Give me a sentence, Francisco. Oh, okay. Uh, if I have a, a millionaire. If you had had, if you had found a million dollars, a million okay. Dollars. Uh huh. Well, that's a good one. Okay. And uh, Irwin, what would you do? <laughs> you have your microphone off. I okay, good. Never, I never English. You would never have study, never, never study English. You would have <laughs> never studied English. I will kill you, man. <laughs> well, at least he's honest, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but you you not you know what? You will need English. You will need it for business purposes. Yes. Uh -huh. So you see, so you will have yes. to study English no matter what. <laughs> okay, very good. Now give me a sentence, please. Okay. If I, if I, lottery, uh -huh. one million, uh -huh. no, two million. Two million. If I, I got lottery. 
Uh, if you have won the lottery, okay, yes. of two million dollars. Two million, two million, two million. Okay, yeah, two million it's, dollars. It's, only two yeah, million. Okay, good. Only, only for, for me, two million is it, enough. It's enough. Okay, yes. tell me to uh, continue his idea, please. That's good. <laughs> and listen to him. <laughs> if he had won I the will... two million lottery, uh huh. Where I, I, I would, or, I would, uh -huh. you would have what? I would like, uh, or you might have. I, I will, no, I might, I might, uh, um, very rich. Very, uh, I, I might yeah. have been very rich. Yes. Okay, very good. That's excellent. I would have opened um, a, a street dog's refugees in my case, because I love pets a lot. I love animals as well. And of course, I love orphanages as well. Very good. Excellent. Good job. So we already have practice, okay? That's good. Was it easy? We just have to practice more and remember more the verb tenses, right? That's what we had to do, but that's good. Excellent job. Good job, guys. Congratulations. You are amazing. Very good. So that's what we recap what we have seen on Friday. Basically, guys, we have a different topic right now, but I want your opinion. Um, remember, guys, that we've been talking about conflicts. Remember that? Yes, we have been discussing a lot of things right now. That's why we have learned how to use uh, the third conditional. But also, let me ask you something. In all the workplaces, we always have like um, guidelines, right? To to deal with a conflict. Is it, is it correct or not? Is there a guidelines in your workplace or in your work area? How to deal if there's a conflict that presents? Do you have it on your work or not? You do or you don't? No, you don't? No. Really, Freddy's? No. Where I work, um, mm -hmm. actually my boss is really um, bad word, so he's like, ah. he will tell me a bad word. Um, I bet come up in the word. Ah, <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, good. So there's no a guidelines. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but do you think it should be a guidelines? Yeah. It would be better, yeah? A very what? sweet. Yeah. What about you, Francisco, Fernando, Erwin, Kenya? Uh, I think Kenya and Kathy and Joshi, because you work in a call center and also Andresito, they, they're always, is, there's a guidance all, all the time. Or no? Katia? No, really. No, really? I mean, no, because we when we get a problem sometimes in... Uh -huh. We are the ones that resolve the problem. Yeah, mm. we need to do it. I mean, for the best for our team. Okay, yeah. I got it, I understand. So now do me a favor. If there is a conflict, and of course we do have the managers there, how should managers deal with underlying tensions and subtle behaviors developing in their teams? Do you understand what I'm talking about? How the managers handles the tensions and the behaviors that they're in the teams, how they do that. For example, in your case, Joshi, how they do that. Talking about managers, every manager has different points of view and different ways to work, different mm -hmm. way how to resolve the issue. Mm -hmm. But in your yeah. experience, in your team? Um, talking about my, my actual manager, he is really, he's very nice. You can get back metrics, but he's not the one that it will be put in a DA or something. As uh, he mentioned, next month will be your month, and you need to improve in this. I can give you some advices, and you see, he's really nice. But I have been with many other managers that at the first time you got bad on this, you know what happened next. Okay. So please, you must be in. You have you feel the pressure, the pressure. Sorry for the next month. Okay. I guess that there are different kinds of managers. Mm -hmm. 
exactly they are but i think but I, they try to like follow the guidelines and solve their problems of their team right and be a one-on-one -on -one session with each of them very good what about you madeline kathy and andresito do you have the same um a manager of uh joshi or you have a different managers uh, sorry, teacher. I don't work on a, on a call center. Right? I know, I know. You don't uh -huh. work a call center, but in uh -huh. but in your case, and uh, what can you tell about that? What, about that situation when that happens? Uh, there's no guidance. Did you say? Mm -hmm. uh, there's only if you made make a mistake, you receive a warning. Only that. Mm -hmm. There's a process. There's uh, a process. So yeah. there's a guidance. But only for your faults. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, only for that. Only for that. Oh. Yes. Okay, that's interesting. What about you, Kathy? Thank you, Andresito. And Madeline, what can you share about that? It, it's the same in our, in our place, workplace. I mean, if you get uh, one problem or something, or you failed in something, uh, it's a warm up. Verbal warm up, then is a third warm up. Uh, mm -hmm. In the third one, you are fired. But the third one is a verbal, is written. A rating. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think it de depends on where you work, right? The, the, the guidelines is different. What about Fernando? Because for, I think Fernando and it was Studi, I remember. Uh, you work in, a, in an IT department, right? So what is the guidelines, Fernando? in this situation? Uh, well, in, in my work, I I don't remember if uh, any case. Uh -huh. Yes, but uh, usually maybe if we uh, we have conflicts, uh, the HR boy, guy, mm -hmm. we have a HR guy that he's uh, in charge of uh, tell, tell us all the roles, what, what all, all the protocol that we have to do with, in, in case of something, um, maybe uh, the, the punish for for conflicts or maybe if you you do something uh, bad in, in the mm -hmm. company, uh, you, they uh, put you uh, personal action. I don't know how do you say action de personal. Mm -hmm. A first warning. No warning. Yeah, a warning. A warning. And and oh, uh, the, he he talked with uh, our manager and for for handling the, the situation and we have to to keep the the order in the at work. <laughs> yes. But that, okay. that that not happen awfully. Uh, the, so, uh, it doesn't happen so often. Doesn't 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 have an option oh okay but it might happen sometime right yes maybe could be mm -hmm. could be could be yes, maybe maybe in all in all in all the jobs is normal it's different. Some, mm -hmm. it's different and normal that cases of conflicts exactly okay so in this case guys i got a reading article for you basically regarding that and uh, i want you guys to um, read the following passage that exemplifies an a scenario of an effectively managed conflict. I'm going to share with you right now. And yes, IT department, my computer and my uh, Wi-Fi works fine. So guys, what I want you to do, this is going to be a individual, individual activity. So I'm going to give it to you basically um, three minutes. Three minutes to read it, okay? And after that, I will ask you some questions. That question will be true or false. That's a question. That's easy, easy, easy sentences. But you must have read carefully in order to answer correctly. All righty? So yes, IT department, I was about to share the information with you and I will let you know when I already have sent it because you will receive it in a couple of minutes, okay? I promise that.
You should have received it already. Yes. Did ya? <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, cool. So basically that's an article. This is a, uh, we're going to put in practice guys, reading comprehension. That's what we're going to put in practice and develop right now. Okay, I sent it to you the article, it's not, it's 9.05. We're going to come back together at 9.08. And then we're going to discuss whether you have finished the article or not. Okay, so I'm, let me leave you alone, read the article, and then we'll come back with you. Okay, any questions? I'm here. I have a question. Mm -hmm. One minute. Would you like me to give you more or you're okay, guys? No. Yes, teacher, please. One, two minutes. Two, two minutes. minutes. Two more minutes? Okay. Yes, please. At, okay. At 10 past nine. Okay.
Finish, guys. Finish reading? Yes, miss. Yes? Okay, that's cool. All righty. Hopefully, you have memorized it because I just erase it. It's not in the group anymore. Ah, yes. So what you have in mind is what you have in mind, okay? I know, I know it's hard. I know it's hard, but what you have is what you have. Like, he and Ken is like, no, all right. Don't worry, girl. We're, we're practicing reading comprehension. Did you have time to finish reading or no? Yes, okay, cool, okay. So let's see, show me what you got. Let me double check what we have here. So I do have sentences here according to what you have recently read and I want your opinion. I, I just want you to let me know if it's true or false. That's it. Kenya, do me a favor. Could you please be so kind to read for me the sentence number one? The conflict was a sort of tension developed over a power struggle at the office. Is this true or is this false? What do you think? Mm -hmm. The conflict was a subtle tension developed over a power struggle at the office. Is that true or is that false? It's true. Is it true? Is everybody agree? Uh huh. Hello. It's Houston, true. We had a problem here. It's true. Yes. Okay. Uh, Freddy's, what about number two? Can you please read it for us? Yeah. The other party was very aggressive about his share being taken. Is it true or is it false? Yeah, it's true. true. Is it true? It's true. Okay. Yeah, true. True. All right. What about number three? Uh, Jessica. Hopefully, Jess is here. If not, tell me that. Could you please be so kind to read for me number three? The employee was interviewed by his manager about the incident with the chair. Very good. That is true or that is false? Oh. True or false? True. It's true. It true? Okay. All righty. Number four, Andresito. Oh. Mm -hmm. The employee didn't apologize to the offended party. Is it true or false? False. 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 The employee did apologize? Yes. yes okay. Did. All right. Uh, number five, uh, 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 Francisco. Number five. Francisco. Oh, sorry, teacher. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, the team manager was effective at uh, dealing with the conflict. At uh, dealing with the conflict. Oh. I deal mm -hmm. with the conflict. Is it false. true or false? false? False. False? Why is false, guys? Because uh, he escalated the issue with the, um, I don't know, supervisor, I guess. Uh -huh. Very good. Excellent. And Doris, the last one. The conflict was resolved, but the bad atmosphere Continue even after. Very good. The conflict was resolved, but the mm -hmm. bad atmosphere continued af even after. Very good, Doris. That is true or that is false? It's true. true. True? True. Okay, so you feel the, the tension, right? Even though they already have, a, a, we can say, resolved the situation. Okay, very good. Not too bad. Congratulations, guys. Excellent. Hey, hey do you see, how, guys, that we do have a different kind of conflicts situation? A power outage. Mm. All right. Very good. Do you like it? Do you, uh, did you find uh, any new vocabulary or any new ideas? Or no? Okay. Yes, new yes. vocabulary. New vocabulary, mm -hmm. right? We have a lot of them. Yes, I know. Uh-huh. So right. let me ask you, 
Um, in this kind of situation, the conflicts, all our organization might experience uh, a crisis. Let me ask you something. How would you define an organizational crisis? Have that happened to you? Or have had happened in your work? I don't know, Telmita or Erwin, how would you define an organizational crisis? Interesting question, right? Because it involves Maybe many things. When, uh -huh. when some employees uh, don't know how, how is the hierarchy in the, in the company, and you don't know who, with, who you, you have to tell that with something or something specific because you don't know the, the lines of communication between the, the employees. Mm -hmm. That's one of them. Yes, that could be considered a crisis. But let me ask you, sometimes there is a crisis that you can expect that for any reasons. However, there are some situations that your business, for example, would find in a difficult situation due to an unexpected crisis. So what would you do if that happens? Interesting uh, question, uh, right? Listen, in the company, sometimes they have a, a procedural manual with the, when they, the, they describe the, the, all the procedures in different cases that could be could be in the, the company. Uh -huh. Whether that, that they could expect. Could they That's, happen in the company? It could happen. But sometimes there are some situations that they're unexpected. So what will you do? That's an interesting question, right? Because uh, yes, you're right about that. For example, depends of the, the type of enterprise that you work for, right? There are some situations that might happen, but there are some situations that they're not contemplated in the, in the manuals. There are unexpected situations, unexpected crisis. What would you do? Don't run or don't cry. Analyze. <laughs> Analyze. Uh huh. That's one of them. Mm -hmm. Analyze what, Freddy? Analyze the situation before acting. Uh huh. That's a good one. Mm hmm. Any other idea? Listen both parts and then see how we can meet in the middle to resolve the situation. Mm hmm. That's a good one, yeah. And imagine that you have an um, unexpected situation, a expecting crisis, but you do not have much time. That's another thing that what happens. Oof, right? It's really hard to think about that situation, right? But you, maybe we are going to face it. No matter if you are managers or you're not managers, you can expect it in the areas of your workplace, of your environment. So how will you handle that? Hmm. I gotta share right now with you some situation and basically uh, some information about that. This time is between Mr. Jamie and Michael. So basically I just want another pair of victims, sorry. <laughs> Another pair of participants, please. Who can help me with that? But I will need two guys. So let me double check. Uh, 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 uh. Francisco, I want you to help me with this. And also uh, uh, Andresito. Andresito and Francisco. Let me share right now my screen with you guys. And I want you to help me with this role play if you don't mind. Uh, 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 uh. Is it, is it better? Is it okay? Would you like me to put it a little bit bigger? I think bigger uh, would be better, right? A little bit, please. What about now? It's much better? Uh, it's okay. It's okay? Okay, let me move something here really quickly. All right, all right. There you go. So, uh, Francisco, you're going to be Jaime. Oh, Jamie. <laughs> um, Andresito, you're gonna be Michael, okay? Okay. Are you guys ready? Yes. All right, let's rock and roll, Francisco. You start. 
Francisco. I think Francisco has a, stood up and went for a cup of coffee. That could be one of the reasons. Yes, I think so. Okay, so let's see. Josuecito. No. Uh, yes, oh, Francisco, uh, are you back? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. yes teacher. You went Sorry. for a cup of coffee. Uh -huh. Remember that. Not just good. Okay, oh, no, no. so I have a, a dialogue here in front of my computer. Uh, hopefully you can see it. So I want you to play the role of Jaime. And uh, basically, Andresito is going to play the role of Michael, okay? And what happened with this Francisco? Where he gone? He's gone? I think he has a problem with his computer, right? I think so. All righty. Fernando, would you like to play the role of Jaime? Uh, yes. Okay, so it's your turn, go ahead. Uh... Michael, I heard of the crisis you are having at your electronics factory. What's going on? Are you okay? We are not doing that great. Something caught fire in the storage room and we lost the production from the past two months. Mm. The machinery from the assembly lines was damaged and the computers got, when, got wet when the five fires came. Oh my, I'm sure that the insurance company will see the damage cost. That's the issue. We took, we took it easy thinking none of this could have happened. Mm. So we delayed the paperwork for the insurance. Uh, goodness, uh, check if there is if any kind of coverage from the insurance you have for the other businesses. I'm sure there must be some little help there at least. Very good, excellent. So thank you guys. Imagine this is a scenario, guys. Imagine this. Electronics factory, right? Electronic devices. You know what a storage room is where they have all the products, all the things. And what happened here, guys? What is the situation that is going on here? What Maybe mm -hmm. uh, they they lost all the the electronic products and uh, they need the money, so they don't don't uh, ca they can't to 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 wait mm -hmm. for the comp the insurance company because uh, they need the money now. Maybe. Uh -huh. Exactly, they were in the storage room. They lost a production of how many months? Two months. Two, Two months. months. Mm -hmm. And what happened? The machinery from the assembly lines was damaged. Yeah? They didn't mm -hmm. fix it. The computers got wet because what happened? The firefighters came. So there was like a like a fire, right? Yeah. And the damage costs a lot of money. But the, uh, most of the companies supposedly to have insurance, but what happened with this particular com uh, company? Did they finish the insurance process or not? No, they didn't. They didn't. And uh, yeah. why they didn't? Because uh, they delayed the paperwork. And they delayed the paperwork because what? Why they because thought? Because they never imagined that could be happening that exactly so imagine that guys that happens in a in a company but also happens in our lives right guys that we delay some things because we think that that would never happen to us but we never know right so don't delay the, the information don't delay the insurance the health insurance the car insurance etc imagine this Electronic devices, they will never think that it could be a fire and they will lose the production of two months. That's crazy, right? That, what ha that happens. That might happen also in your company. So now let's come up with a different idea. Now I want you guys to think about that. Mm -hmm. And I want you to work in pairs to basically get the brainstorm or talk about these two questions that I will send it to you right now. 
via the WhatsApp and the IT department will let me know once you receive it, right? Just to avoid any delays of the process of sending the information to you. These two questions, I want you to think about it and give as much of ideas as you can. Can you please be so kind to read for me the first question that I already have sent, William? Is it all right to assume nothing will go wrong in a business venture? That's a very interesting question, right? And the second question, please, William. Which possibilities will you take into account to prepare a plan in case of a crisis? Very good. All righty. So we are 16. That means that a group of two, right? Okay. So I will give you like five minutes to discuss these two questions. Bring some brainstorms. Okay. And then we're going to come up and discuss together. All righty. There you go. So do me a favor. As a invitation, please. Discuss about these two questions in pairs. Doris, Kenya, and Alexander. We're still waiting. Okay, Alex is the one that's missing. All right, hopefully, Alex, you can join also. Accept the invitation, please. If not, I'm going to move Joshi to a different place. Let's see. That's number six. First one, it, it is a right to assume nothing will go wrong in a business venture. Uh -huh. What do you think? Um, uh, in a business venture, uh, I guess it, we can do that because uh, we need to uh, take care and we we are risk uh, a lot of money for the reason we we can assume that that uh, uh -huh. that situation very good what do you agree with that doris uh, i think uh, when uh, i uh, I yes because I, I the in the business uh, there are always a uh, room mm -hmm. in, in different different time in in is is necessary to solve the the situation um. Uh, um, however, is a, a little situation. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if it's a big or a, well, a small situation, it needs to be resolved. Okay. So do me yeah. a favor. Uh, yeah. Which possibilities now you, you think that basically you, you, you can't assume, right? You can't assume that nothing is going to be wrong. Uh, well, in this case, if you do not assume that, you will you need to be prepared for that right for yeah. anything that comes so which possibilities would you take into account to prepare a plan in case of a crisis so what we what that means which steps you will follow to prepare a plan if something happens to be prepared that's what I, that is what is the second question is about yeah. what are you gonna do to be prepared Okay, continue working together. Let me double check another guys, okay? 
Okay. If, if we're talking... you, yeah, una, una ruta de, de... An, an evacuation plan. Yes. If we were talking about the situation that happened, right? Mm -hmm. we have to have, like you said, an evacuation plan. We need to have a extinguisher. Um, we need to have a immediately um, a backup for the for our our um, data. data the data mm -hmm. that we're we have in the computer. Uh, we need to have insurance. That's the most important in a business, the insurance. You yes. never know what's going to happen in, maybe you could have a, let's say, someone break in and rob you something, it has to be exactly um, uh, to get it, um, everything burned, get uh, everything on fire. Why you are so quiet? Well, then it's really hot right now. Yeah. So did, did you finish this costume? No, not really. No, no. No? You're still in number one, number two? Number two. Number two. Okay. That's what it thinks the most, right? You need to think about it. Yeah. Oh, my God. You are so concentrated. Look at Willie. He's like, yeah. All right. There you go. So <laughs> I will leave you like brainstorm right like burning some neurons and then i'm going to double check with the other guys like continue working you're doing fine okay thanks you're welcome thank you yes mainly in a business in a, in a commercial business always there are a problem yes. for the for the specific for the specific product well, uh, that that you sell and you have to have responsibility the responsibility is to be yes. the time the yes. work in the, in the company has to be made if you try to work all the time for the company will be well Yes, in in different areas, yeah. could be into account to prepare a plan in case of a crisis mm. or crisis. Crisis. Uh -huh. Which possibility will be taken into account? Um, maybe. Uh, like we said before, uh, we think about the uh, good things or good experience that we will have and uh -huh. also uh, the issues or the problems that we will have if in the in the business that like uh -huh. you just said before. Uh, and think and analyze like my uh, like the teacher said that uh, we need to prepare and think about all mm -hmm. mm. in my case um, uh, which possibilities uh, uh, um, for example in my and <laughs> Uh, hi, teacher. How do you say Polisa? Hi, teacher. Teacher, are you there? <laughs> is he sleeping? <laughs> yeah, he's not here. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not here. Um, yeah. The other one is which possibilities would you take in account to prepare a plan in a case of crisis? Yeah. Pay the insurance. <laughs> yeah, really, <laughs> it's the first idea, pay the insurance. Yeah. Because you, but you need to study all, 
¿Cómo se dice? Aspectos. Aspects. Uh, yeah. What you need to cover the insurance. Oh, yeah. Because it's... Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Bye, Josué. Ah, oh, oh, no, it's, I don't know. Yeah, I, we have two minutes. Yes, but I, I, I think it's the, the other, but not, it's a, it's a record. Yeah, uh, the, with a uh, murder crisis, Miss, we are talking about the Madrid de Riesgos in the operations okay. company. Mm -hmm. In my case. No, no. Uh -huh. um, one or two things that the risk mat matter have is uh, entrenamientos y uh, Simulacros. Trainer. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. As part of the plan for, for risking any companies. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it's interesting that. Mm -hmm. For the people prepare for crisis. Hey, you're coming back. You're coming back. Yeah. Uh, enough, enough chachalaca for today. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you are having so much fun, right? There you go. I know you love each other, guys. There you go. Okay. Tell me, how was the question? Okay. I just want to have uh, some ideas about what you thought about what you were talking and discussing uh, as a pair. Uh, 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 let me share right now my screen and this is the questions that we formulated okay yep those are the two all right is it a, a, all right to assume nothing will go wrong in a business venture what do you think guys do we assume that nothing is going to be wrong in our business everything no, is no. going to be fine no no, no. why not no, why you say no. that jesse because uh, if you uh, if you may, most if, if you start in a business mm -hmm. uh, venture, mm -hmm. uh, you don't know if the salesperson is a good person for sales mm -hmm. or the the or your products uh, are good for for that area or for or is demanding in, in, in that place. Mm -hmm. It's the reason that you never say, oh, my business is really good, it's the best, I think. Yeah, you're right. So th guys, we uh, always have to think that there will be some situation that we can face it, right? That we might face it, yeah. So guys, if everybody says that, everybody's agree with Jesse, or you have some some information to share with us, some different information, or you agree with what she said. Everything is good. Yeah, okay, cool. So now that you think about what Jesse said, which possibilities would you take into account to prepare a plan in a case of crisis? That means you gotta be prepared, right? For something's coming, no matter what. So yeah. tell me, Freddie, what, uh, what will you do to be prepared to have a plan in case something wrong happens? First of all, have an insurance. Uh huh. Second of all, have a like a ev evacuation plan. If, if it's a, like the same as, as, as the story that, mm -hmm. that that the place got on fire. Imagine you have persons working right there, mm -hmm. and you don't have an ev an uh, evacuation plan, and you haven't um, taught the the persons how to implement the evacuation plans. Uh huh. That would be a total disaster. Yes. You need to have a uh, extinguishers. Mm -hmm. And you have need to have, let's say, someone prepared to like be the leader to 
to evacuate the look, la, the personals uh -huh. then have like a a direct number to call the the, the firemen or the fire, fire department okay yeah. exactly mm -hmm. so is that something that we we need to do like when the crisis happens or there's something that we need to do prior before the crisis before happens. okay uh-huh for example we can do some like um well imaginary situation right how we're yeah. going to act and it in, in there and just we need to just basically guys do it in action or do you think that it would be a really good idea to put some signs yeah, uh, it's a good idea also it's, uh -huh. it's good to um, have a simulation evacuation uh, exactly simulation yeah for example i don't know where you where you work guys but where i used to work there's some sign that for example in case an earthquake do not use the elevator for example right mm -hmm. uh -huh. and there's a point of reunion too a uh half -huh, point of reunion or in case there is a fire please just lay down right and do like it's a soldier like yeah. that mm -hmm. yeah right you see yeah, yeah. because and, and oh for example in case of emergency and you have a, in a wall you have a big screen or a big board that says firefighters phone number i wonder what, number like that i wonder uh, what are the procedures of for people that works in in a bank if there's a emergency or a robbery oh that's a good one nobody works in a bank no or had work in a bank no ah you know what freddy's i have a friend who works in a bank let me double check if i can ask him <laughs> about you there is a procedure to follow i think i'm going to send a message today and if i have a response from him tomorrow i'm going to share the ideas with you okay that will be the procedure to follow in case there's a thief right that rise right yeah. in the bank with a gun and shooting everybody like give me the money yeah. right yeah because okay. that might happen yeah, especially in our, in our country, that may happen. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good question. All right. Who else wants to share uh, your opinion? Okay, William, Erwin, Telmita. You have a lot of experience here. Yeah, so I want to sh you share that experience with us. I don't have that much experience as you do. Well, in about, in about um, um, sales. Uh huh always problem mm -hmm. always there are problems but uh, uh not only is a, a good business mm -hmm. but, but also there are crises but uh, um we could search in for example for example mm -hmm. um uh, we have a crisis with a um uh in case don't receive in a, a product of mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. on time uh, uh cool we call searching mm -hmm. and uh others others customers or or searching a, a customer uh, emergence or an emergencies Emerging emergencies provide, for example, mm, uh, national or international. Mm -hmm. You know, in in a in an emergency that you don't don't have a product mm -hmm. is is necessary is necessary searching other other providers. Other providers, okay, yes, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. That happens, yes. Mm -hmm. But may I ask you, sometimes, for example, talking about that, eh, we know already that there are some items that we do not have in the stock. But for example, sometimes there's some items that we do have in the stocks, but there's like a situation that then we do not have any inventory anymore. And we need to request 
Oh, we do have like certain amount, but not all the amounts that the customer is requesting for, right? So we need to get more about that. For example, let's say that um, we are a jewelry company, right? And a customer is asking for a specific type of diamond, a 0 0.40 carat diamond, right? Uh, La created diamond, for example. But a diamond that the customer is requesting for, we have a problem with the vendor because it's coming at a delay. So what will you do in that case? What will you do? Interesting, right? Maybe offer a discount. <laughs> to the a discount, yeah. Or you can also share for a different type of diamond with similar characteristics, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. Or you could be associated with any other jewelry. Uh-huh, also. Yes, especially because there are some diamonds that we do have it locally, but there are some diamonds that we need to request it like overseas, for example, like a Russian yeah. diamonds or Canadian diamonds that they're requesting for outside the country, outside the States, for example. Yeah. I've seen some um, movies that supposedly most of the diamonds, they come from Iraq. I don't know if it's real. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. But also, you know what? The international conflicts may cause a lot of delays in the product as well sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Fernando, what about you? You're, you have an IT department, which is totally different from sales, totally different from call center, totally different from marketing, et cetera. But even though you have faced crisis, so I think you or your partner or your company needs to like create some plans to what they're going to do in case you face a crisis. So can you please share with us about it? In our case, uh, the, maybe the, more, the most important thing to protect is the, is the data. Data, yes, definitely. So, uh, for example, we use, uh, we use software to, to, to upload our code mm -hmm. to the, to uh, to the cloud and the, in, 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 in that is that is private mm -hmm. and is, is secure so if for example we lost or the equipment for an accident or or some or, or some issue dif different issue mm -hmm. uh, the code the, of the application the data all are, are in the cloud ah, okay. you, ha you have to pay you have to pay for that but uh -huh. uh, that is in case of the data, but for example, the, the equipment, uh, maybe uh, the equipment is very difficult to, to protect for, for example, in our building, mm -hmm. we, we have a, a fire, how do you say los extintores? Pero los... How, how you say that, Freddy? He Axi. mentioned it. Fire extinguisher. Uh-huh, that yes. one. Uh, no. <laughs> is, if, if fire rise, for example, uh, uh -huh. uh, the, the equipment is going to wet uh -huh, because to wet, the, because yeah. that that the devices. Uh -huh. So maybe you you can, you 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 your loss will be uh, physical only. Mm -hmm. But the more the most important thing maybe you can you 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 have your data is. Uh, secure uh-huh but have you uh, you think about that you can get like uh, some kind of hackers hackers uh, it's a possibility or not it's really? a possibility yes it's a possibility but maybe in that in that case uh, it's what very common do? for example maybe it's like a default set uh, uh, we have to to turn up the servers mm -hmm. And uh, after that, we have to, to, for example, if you contract an, an enterprise to, for your site, for your data, mm -hmm. they, they provide you the, the, that guarantees. For example, they uh -huh. have all the, all the, the protocols to, to save your data from that, that attacks. Mm -hmm. There are different attacks of, of hackers, but the, the servers or your provider is in charge of, of doing that because they offer that services when you are paying for the the the, 
their services. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes, you're right about that. I have heard that. And we have done that as well in our company. All righty, guys. So you see, there could be many situations that might we might face, right, in our um, companies or enterprises. Depends on what we work for. Sales, sales uh, issues, right? Uh, basically inventory situation, uh, natural situations like a fire, for example, earthquake or something like that. Uh, storage problems, right? A storage about that data things. Also loss of equipment, so, et cetera. There's a lot of things involved. Okay, so I just want you to help me doing something in right now, requesting that. Mm -mm. Okay, guys, I have here one, two, three, four, five, possible or example of crisis that might happen in the company that may attack an organization, for example. And I have one, two, three, four, five sentences. So what I want you to do is just basically let me know which one goes with which one. For example, I have natural disasters, which will be like fires, right? Earthquakes, tsunamis, and et cetera, right? Uh, power outage, which could happen in this case of Fernando's environments, right? That could happen that you, you're like, also of you guys, if you're working in uh, from home, you could have a power outage as well. An IT system failure, that might happen as well. Strike, a product recall, like ex all of Telnita, I don't know. So read it carefully. I'm going to put it right now, a little bit bigger for you to like, See it a be better in a better way. Okay, I think I put it here. There you go. Let me put it here. Okay, and I want you guys to let me know which one goes with which one. And if you do not understand any vocabulary, let me know as well. Do you understand all the terminations? Yeah or no? No. Uh -huh. What is the meaning of streaky or strike? Strikes. What's the meaning of strike? Mm -hmm. What is a strike meaning, guys? Anybody? Mm -hmm. It's like a it's like a attack. Uh huh. It's like attack. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's like. Huelga. Eh, o como huelga. Sí, como que toda la mara se reúne y no, ¿quién, yeah, no quiere well, trabajar. Oh. Sí. A refusal to work organizes. Is exactly, that is a strike. <laughs> huelga, exactly. Very good. What about power outage? You know what power outage is? No. Uh, yes. de energía? Sí, so, yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. product recalled? Uh, I have an idea, but I'm, I'm not uh -huh. sure. Uh -huh. Go ahead. For, for example, when the product is uh, bad, the mm -hmm. company produce again until have a good product. Ah, uh, that could be one of them. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Any other idea? Yeah, that's good. Yes, it is basically. All right. For recall, exactly. Good job. So do me a favor. Think about, read the sentences carefully and let me know which crisis go in which place. All that you gotta do is let me know which one goes with which one. For example, the fleet crew of British Airways airlines stopped their usual activities due to a dispute over late payments. Their actions delay many passengers. So what's that? Strike. That is right. strike. Very good job. Okay. All right. Bye. Number two, could you please read it for me, Joshi? Yes. Samsung is doubling its effort to recall a lot of 100 cell phones which are deemed to be highly explosive and harmful. Uh huh. IT system filter. Uh, double checking. You see, there's there's a word there that it will give you a clue. Samsung is doubling its oh, at first to recall. It's pro recall. You proud of recall. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Number three. Uh, Jesse, number three. Netflix received. Received. Say what? 
received countless. Netflix received countless complaints when their service went offline because of a filthy glitch. Glitch. Glitch, sorry, glitch. Glitch in the system that in turn, in turn incoming requests to their main server. Aha, uh -huh. what's that? Uh, IT system filter. Exactly, very good. Number four. Uh, 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 uh. Kenya, number four, please, guy, girl. The earthquake in Japan, uh, 2011, mm -hmm. destroyed many production facilities, resulting in car um, manufacturers manufacturers to run low on supplies and causing great economic costs loss to a small company. All righty, very good. So natural disaster. Natural disasters, very good. And finally, the last one, Erwin, can you please read it for me, number five? Number five, a massive power interrupt in Taiwan cows a great a great material loss to the production of the new phones. The new, I, see, phones iPhones. iPhones, so, very good. So what's that yeah. one? Power outage. Power outage, very good, exactly. Uh-huh. A power interruption. Okay, so you see, very good. All right, so we have some examples of basically crisis, right, that we might face. Do we remember which one? Which one we saw right now? Natural disaster was the other one? Power outage. Power outage, what else? Product recall. IT, Product recall. IT system. IT system. Strike. IT Failure. system. Failure. Strike. Yeah. And what else? Which one we're missing? That's all Product of them, right? Recall. Ah, pro recall, yeah, very good. So you see, and I don't know about you guys, but I think er everybody has faced that, right? Well, at least in my case, the power outage, yes. That's why they sent me a different UPS, right? They, that I can connect with my computer at the same time with a um, specific cable, because if something happens, at least my computer does not turn off and then I continue working. Yes, that happens. So I don't have any excuse. I'm sorry, but I don't have any electricity. No way, girl. You will continue working no matter what. Like, eh. okay, not just dizzy. All righty. What about um, a system failure? Have you faced that? Have you faced a system failure? Because I think some of you work with a different system, right? Jesse works in a different system like Kathy, Erwin, and Telmita. You have a specific system that you work with in your company, right? Some of you work with Excel, some of you work with Teams, and some of you work with different things. So I don't know if that happens to you, but sometimes your, your system gets frozen, right? Oh, I don't know about what happened to you about that your computer reinitiates automatically without asking you for permission. <laughs> I don't, that, have you faced that before about system problems? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. <laughs> yeah, right. And you're like, eh, and you were in the middle of something and you did not save it. You lost the information. Oosh. I hate that. That happens to me Oosh, a lot of times. Yeah. Hey, guys, have you been working uh, in the site or in a company when an earthquake occurs? Oh, yes, it's yeah. terrible. <laughs> it's terrible, Delvita. How many earthquakes yes, have you a, passed? In a second plan. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's, it's terrible. It's the moment is, is uh, high. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. Even though supposedly the, the buildings have constructed to support earthquakes, right? But it feels really bad. I, who works in Sykes? I think uh, Kat, Kathy, right, in Madeline. Who work in Sykes, right? Which floor do you work? Which floor? First, second, third, sixth? In the second one. In the second floor. And have you felt already the an earthquake or a shake? Like yes. a maca. <laughs> like a, a maca, yes. That's terrible. I used to it grows a lot. Oh, horrible. I feel like if I was surfing. Yes. And we have uh, in the third uh, floor, 
uh, a gym. Uh, we think that the, all the machines can. <laughs> really? But did that happen or no? No, but when we uh, uh, we have that kind of situation, we think that. Of course, you better like. Yeah. Hey, hey, let me ask you, have some of you got stuck in the elevator? No? Yes, in Ministerio de Hacienda. Oh my God, oh, Delmita. Yeah. Oh, it so. was horrible. <laughs> Only you or with somebody else? No, with, uh, with uh, two, co two girls? co -worker and co workers. Uh -huh. And oh my god. Another another people, another oh. person, excuse me. Uh, That's horrible. Uh, there are a, a woman that I I I remember that the woman uh, uh make up crisis. Really? Oh my god. Poor woman, poor woman. Yes, I <laughs> I can remember it's claustrophobic or was claustrophobic. All righty, very good guys. Time is over. Yes. You can imagine time passed really fast. I, I didn't feel it. I don't know about you, but I didn't feel it. Okay, guys. So it's nice to see you one more time. We're in the third week. Can you imagine? Time passed really fast. My goodness. We're going to finish next week. So, okay. I will miss you a lot. But we're going to do the best this week, okay? I will send you some... Um, I can set some game right now in a couple of minutes so you can practice the first conditional all the time, okay? And uh, I need to stay with Glenda right now for a one-on-one -on -one session. So all of you, goodbye. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Hugs and kisses. Have a lovely night. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Take care. See you Bye. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Hi, Glendita. Hi, teacher. How are you? <laughs> Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. How about yourself, baby girl? Uh, my baby is better now. Really? Was yeah. he sick? Yes. Uh, some flu. Ooh. Wow, wow, wow. Did you go to the doctor with him? Yes. Oh, yes. But, but I'm so happy that he's much better. Yeah, now he's playing with the with our pet. <laughs> ah, really? Do you have a pet? A, yeah. a dog or a cat? I I have a dog. is is girl and and one cat is boy. <laughs> oh, that's good. And he's playing with both or only with the doggy? With play with uh, with both of them. <laughs> so it's like having a three kids actually. Yeah, yeah but right? now uh, um. Uh, and how do you say? We give uh, another uh, dog. Really? It's a baby. Yeah. Uh, so you have two dogs and one cat right now. Yes. Wow. I, like I, me. I <laughs> no. No. Oh my god! Beautiful puppy. That's a baby dog. A girl or a boy? A boy. I have a uh, one month. Oh yeah. But my baby don't don't have peace for him. <laughs> oh, I, I can't imagine. Oh my god, but he's so baby. Oh, that's your baby. He looks exactly yes. like you. Wow. <laughs> yeah, she's my baby, and she's my another girl. Your daughter. Oh my god. You know what? I don't know your husband, but to be honest with you, they look exactly like you. Yeah. Wow. So you have, so actually you have a five, two baby dogs, one cat, and two human boys, <laughs> boys and girls. Oh my God. But that's nice. That makes you feel uh, sometimes a stress, but at the same time, happy, right? Yeah. 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 I know that. Uh, you know what? I think when they are busy, the grandpas, or when they're not there, the house feel like quiet and they feel like, Something's missing here. <laughs> yes, it really uh, passed me because I am single with, uh -huh. with she too. Uh, with them. Uh -huh. with, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I sometimes I need I need to stay alone. Mm -hmm. But when she or my baby is not here, 
really I I feel alone mm -hmm. and I need them. <laughs> exactly. Sometimes you want to be like alone, but at the same time, when they are not there, you miss them. Yes, yeah. I know that. That you know what that happens to me with my pets. I can't imagine that happens to you or your babies. <laughs> yeah, I know that. But tell me something. How you feel about the course? How you feel about the topics? Really, me to start with you for the first model. <laughs> really? Yes, really. You feel me? You very, very good. Yeah, I, I am, how I say? Do your best. You can do it. Yes, I, I, I feel very, very well with you. Oh, well, because, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Really, thank you, because another teacher uh, tried to... Um, Quitarme lo, uh, the shy. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Make you make you speak, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and you and I couldn't. And I think for me it's very difficult because some sometimes uh, I forgot uh, my vocabulary and I forgot what what I talk mm -hmm. and. I have a problem with my hair. Mm -hmm. I don't hear with one. One of them, with the right or with the left? With the right. Wow, okay. Yeah, and this is difficult. And mm -hmm. some years ago, I need, uh, well, I I want to uh, study English, but this problem mm -hmm. stopped me. But this time I, I decided to study. But <laughs> yeah, this is my problem. No, but that's. Did you go already to the doctor to double check your ear problem? Yes. Yeah. Uh, my el tímpano is dying, and I can take an uh, um, apparato for yeah. for my ear. And I take it with this problem. But yes. uh, really, I don't have another problem that when you're talking very slow uh -huh. or, or something, um, I need pay more attention. More attention. Okay. Yes. Well, thank you for letting me know that because I will try to speak a little bit slow as well. Yes. I know sometimes I speak a little bit faster. I understand that. No, but really I understand you when you're talking. Ah, that's good. But I have a problem when my my uh, co my compañeros my, my co-workers my co-workers uh, are talking uh -huh. and I don't understand. For example, today with Freddy, he is very difficult to me for understand when when he talking. <laughs> he talks really yes because he has a different kind of accent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's a challenge for you. <laughs> so I'm going to put you together, okay? <laughs> no, he's very nice, you know, he's a really nice guy. Yeah, no, yes. Yeah. Sweet. We, what? with the first model, I, I think he is with me. Really? Oh, so you already get used to him. He's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and he's willing to help as well. So don't worry about that. Yeah, I, I think he has studied English before. I think so. That's that's why sometimes it's difficult for him to for you to understand him. Yeah, <laughs> you will get used to it. Don't worry about that. Hey, tell me something. Do you have any feedback for me? Really, um, positive or negative? That's okay. You. No, really, I am happy with you because you you have um, pedagogy for way to teach things <laughs> yeah <laughs> really i um, i'm nervous <laughs> you're nervous don't be afraid no way it's okay it's part of the process don't feel like that i no, don't really, mind i am happy with <laughs> with you i'm so really? happy too yeah i'm trying I, to do my best thank you i i i um, I start with my co-worker uh, 
human resource. Ah, okay, sure. Mm -hmm. He lived the, the, the study. Um, and she always sat with me for the first month. And she saved me. Uh, not like me, the, this, this the, class. The what? Okay. But I, I need to uh, follow to all, all models I say with Pete, which is, and now uh, we're talking and and I am uh, talking. I talked to her about you. <laughs> yeah, I talked to her about you. And she's happy for me because now she hear me talking. Yeah, just listen to you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, Josue is co-working with me. Jose oh, Simon. so Josue? Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. So you can push but him because he's she, a little bit shy. Yeah, <laughs> I am so shy. No, oh, I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Josue is in the front and um, the border is, is a frontera. Like. Yeah, the border, yes. Yeah, the border, but uh, sometimes we talk and he's happy too. Oh, I'm so happy uh, too as well. Yes, uh, the, with him first time when, with uh, in this group on this uh -huh. So he's the first time that you are together? Yes, uh -huh. it's the first time. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so yes. we'll hopefully we'll continue together. Depends if they assign you, if they assign me somebody else. I don't know. That depends on them, that depends on me. <laughs> but I will be so glad to continue with you. That would be really nice. Yeah, I, I hope this. I hope really, so. I really I am motivated for follow this <laughs> this, yes. this study. And and I am grateful with you yeah, because thank you. You you motivate me for for follow the the next model. That's nice to hear. Yeah, you will continue. And any anything that you want, you can just send me a message. I'm not going to reply immediately, but uh, I will reply it as soon as possible. Okay. Any doubts? Any questions? I'm here. Okay. I know it's time to go. I'm so happy that you took this period of time for the one on one session. Okay, I know you're tired, gotta be your babies, and maybe you have a you haven't had dinner. <laughs> okay, but I'm so so happy about I have it. Spoiler for for the homework to my Oops. daughter. Okay, of course I do understand. Okay, so okay, hugs and kisses. Have a lovely night. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good night. Good See night. You tomorrow. See you tomorrow.